God's strength in our weakness. Job chapter 12 and verse 13. With him are wisdom and strength. He has counsel and understanding. Our God is our strength. Our God will give us wisdom and strength. Our God is the supernatural God and he gives supernatural strength to his people. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes, our Lord will give strength to his people and his people will never be weary nor faint. Psalms chapter 27 and verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. If you want the strength of the Lord then you have to wait on the Lord. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. God will renew their strength. Psalms chapter 29 and verse 11. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Our Lord only gives strength to his people. Psalms chapter 37 and verse 39. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Our God will strengthen us and he is our strength in the time of trouble. Psalms chapter 68 and verse 35. O oh God, you are more awesome than your holy places. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. A man may be very fit in his physical strength. But when he passes through the difficult situation in his life like struggles and hardships that leave him feeling empty and broken. In that situation his physical strength will not help him to overcome from these situations. Only God's strength can help him to overcome from these situations. God will renew his mind with new strength and power to overcome all these difficulties and he grant us strength in the moments of our weakness. Psalms chapter 73 and verse 26. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. If you are weary and tried in your life, please don't lose your heart. Please come to the Lord and pour out your heart before him. He will embrace you and comfort you. He will give you comfort and peace beyond the world give. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Verse of the day. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared for this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your greatness and praise you for your matchless power. We thank you Lord, for this new day and thank you for today's Bible study. As we discussed that you alone give strength to your people, it is not with our own strength, we can overcome the worldly problems. We need your strength, O oh Lord. Please strengthen us when we are weak. Renew our strength like an eagle soaring up in the sky. When you give your strength, we will not weary. Please Lord remove all the fears and anxieties from our hearts. Fill us with your love and comfort. Please meet all our needs and lead us into the path of righteousness. Thank you Lord, for answering our prayer. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.